Welcome to Walking on Water. Happy 4th of July to all of y'all. I'm sitting here on a private lake. I ain't going to that big water. Everybody partying right now hard. But hey, that's what it's for. Enjoy the water. Just because I'm not fishing today don't mean I'm not going to give y'all some information. Vital good information. So stay tuned for that. I want to show you my bend me top because I talked about it in my last episode. So let me switch this camera around and I'm going to show it to you. She's looking good. I got to get her opened out. Let me get her open. Yep. Boy, she looking good. Them days that it's 296 degrees out here, I'm gonna be good now, for sure. Let me get her over here. She looks good. I'm gonna do a donut for y'all. Oh yeah. Anyway. All right, y'all, I'm about to get loaded up, get my ice, my drinks, sit down, I'm about to talk to y'all. Okay, have you ever heard the term go fishing before the storm? That pertains to the barometric pressure. Now, if you don't understand the barometric pressure, I'm about to break it down to you. It works like this. Whenever you got nice, clear skies, that's high pressure. You know, anytime you got cloud cover, like a storm coming in, that's low pressure. Now, why would you want to fish before the storm or before the pressure comes in? That's why the, uh, people say fish during the when the barometer is dropping. Well, it's, it, all it is is high pressure, low pressure. So I want you to think about it this way. If a hurricane was coming and, and, and you was watching the news and the news reports that we got a big category four or five, what happens? Everybody goes to Walmart, everybody goes to the, the food store, you know, Food Lion, Piggly Wiggly, wherever you live, you know, and they go stock up on food, bread, you know, the things you're gonna need for that storm. It's kind of the same concept. Fish do the same thing. You know, they can feel that storm, that low pressure coming in, and before it hits, they're gonna, they're gonna try to get their groceries. Speaking of groceries, I'm cooking right now, trying to get me something to eat. Uh, give me a second. Y'all ain't figured out what I'm making by now. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. That's gonna be good. I'm gonna let y'all see that. Got some crappy. <laughs> I'm about to make some fish tacos. If y'all ain't figured that out yet. But uh, like I was saying, back to the groceries. So yeah, the fish, they're gonna eat during the low pressure. Turn the eye off. So the fish are going to eat during the low pressure. You know, they're going to they're going to prepare for that storm, too, because they don't know how long that storm is going to last. So they're going to feed and feed, get full just in case they are going to go a couple of days, you know, without a meal. You know, that's the concept behind it. You got to think about it like that. Now, another thing you, you got to look at it another way. Also, like. That high pressure. I like when I when I, was when I tell my, my when I when I tell my buddies when I'm talking to my buddies, you know I tell them you know that high pressures make the fish constipated. You know well I say that because it affects their bladder. That 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 front coming in, that high pressure 
it like puts pressure on their bladders, makes them constipated. So, you know, a lot of times they don't want to, they don't want to bite like normal. If you used to, you know, but if you, if you go out and it's a cloudy, that skies look like it's on storm, it's like you can catch a one after another after another. That's just from my experience. So, key thing to remember, high pressure means constipation. Now think about it, when you're constipated, you don't wanna eat anything. You know, you probably might eat some crackers or something to soothe the stomach or have some soup. And it's kind of the same thing. So during that high pressure and the fish ain't biting, they really don't want to eat anything, so you got to downsize. So either your minnow, downsize your minnow, or downsize like your uh, your jig. If you're fi uh, if you're fishing like a two inch jig, drop down to like an inch and a quarter, or an inch and a half. A lot of times you'll get more hits. Now, that's just my two cents on the whole thing, y'all. But um, hopefully that kind of helps you out. And you know when that that low pressure come in you know it relieves the pressure off of their bladder and they'll feed more you know so that's two different ways i guess you can you can look at it but either way y'all need to know that that's what that's what fishing bef before the storm that's what it means that's that's really what it is you know because i'm in landscaping the the i haven't been able to get out all week you know but the next three to four days, we're gonna have a lot of rain coming in. And to me, that's a good thing because that means the low pressure system's coming in and the fish gonna start biting. And I'm gonna be there to get them. Y'all can stay tuned for that episode because we gonna get them. You already know. So I hope all y'all enjoying your 4th of July. Y'all be safe out there on that water. You know, thank God for blessing us to be out here one more time, you know, I'm going to get back to my cooking. I, I might even show y'all, you know, the final, you know, the final uh, <laughs> product, <laughs> if, if you will. <laughs> so, this is another episode of Walking on Water. Y'all be blessed.